Let's take a look at Colossians 2.9 and see if it proves the Trinity. And uh, Colossians 2.9 is sometimes used to show that Jesus is part of the Godhead. Um, in the King James translator it does, For in him dwelleth the fullness of the Godhead bodily. And in the ESV it translated as, For in him the fullness, whole fullness of deity dwells bodily. And the mantra that I keep trying to stress here is context, context, context. You must look at the context. Now let's look at the immediate context and starting in verse and verse four. And then, this I say, at least any man should beguile you with enticing words. For though I be absent in the flesh, yet am I with you in spirit, joying joying and beholding your order and steadfast and the steadfastness of your faith in Christ. As ye have therefore received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk ye in him, rooted and built up in him, and established in the faith, as ye have been taught, abounding therein with thanksgiving. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit, after the traditions of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. For in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. The first clue to what Paul means can be found by looking at the context, where we see that he is concerned with the Colossians following false doctrine. So why does he mention the fullness of the Godhead in Christ? Let's look at a couple of other verses. Ephesians 3.19 And to know the love of Christ, which passeth knowledge, that ye might be filled with all the fullness of God. So, Having the love of Christ, which passeth the knowledge, fills you with the fullness of God. Second Peter one four, whereby are ye are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by this ye might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption of the world through lust. Here we can see that one of the beliefs that the New Testament authors held was that those who follow God are filled with the fullness of God and are partakers of the divine nature. Since we see that the context of Colossians 2.9 is Paul warning them not to fall away from the truth, it makes the most sense to interpret Paul's statement about, crisis, about Christ as saying that Jesus is filled with the fullness of God and is a partaker of the divine nature because he follows God and is our perfect example. This interpretation fits the context better than assuming that Paul is suddenly changing the subject and revealing that Jesus is God. That kind of revelation wouldn't really make much sense in the context of where that verse is said. However, interpreting it as Jesus being our example of someone who is filled with the fullness of God and in particular divine nature because he follows God perfectly, that fits the context. Context, context, context.